as it turns out, the thermal patterns are different for everybody. So the patterns of, of, of how we conduct heat is one of the main, one of the main um, jobs of the skin is to regulate temperature. And as you can see, there's different colors. The, the warm spots are red, the darker spots are blue and, and green. So that's the picture you, you get. The problem is that on any single thermogram, you don't know what's normal. It's, it's like uh, snowflakes and it's like fingerprints. It's normal, it, what's normal for you might be not normal for you. And everybody in the room would have their own individual pattern. So right here, there's some, something that's, that's very different from mammography. Mammography, old films are helpful, but they're not always necessary. That's not true. And the question, are these normal thermograms? As it turns out, they are. But you can't tell that from this. I only know they are because I've seen all the other ones and I know that this is stable for both of these women. Again, it's called a thermal fingerprint. That's the term that's used for thermography. Here's a woman from first year baseline, year one to year 15. This actually went longer than that. And you can see the different patterns and the patterns are remarkably stable over a lifetime. There are some minor variations, but there are no large variations unless pathology occurs. So change over time is important. Typically for a thermogram, if, if someone's never had one, you have what's called a baseline. Then you come back three months later to make sure nothing's changing. If that's okay, you come back in a year. And then after that, if you want to do yearly, then you've called what's, it's what's called establishing a stable baseline. So change over time is key in thermography, more so than, than in mammography. Here is a patient. There's the baseline up top. It was thought at three months. There might be some subtle changes in the hyperthermic area and the red area there um, and the right upper breast. So they, instead of waiting a year, they did one at three months. So they continued to have changes. Either at the six month or nine month period, a mammogram was done and they didn't see anything. Then they redid a mammogram at 12 months and found a small cancer, one to two millimeter cancer. So this Right here, this is one of the key points of thermography that thermography can do that, that mammography, well, it can show a cancer earlier than a mammogram. It doesn't always, but it can. And that's a, a, a huge point. Wouldn't you want to know you had something, even though it's too early to diagnose, wouldn't you want to know that you're at risk and that it gives you a chance to do something about it? Also change over time goes the other way. This was one just recently. This was in April of this year. You can see the, the uh, increased hyperthermia there in both breasts. And three months later, after changing her diet, this is what it looked like. So again, this change over time, this is information that a mammogram can't give you. A mammogram looks for disease. It's pretty good at it. But it can't do this. And this is, this is the key to thermography is it's physiologic information that shows up. You can get an idea that, that, that worrisome physiologic changes are happening before a mammogram can show you.